All right, GM miners for, well, good afternoon or good night. No idea what time it is where you're watching this. I guess I'll have to excuse me, my voice is a little messed up. Um, I've been a little sick the last day or two, but I got something that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, hopefully you can see this okay on the screen here. Um, if you haven't heard, uh, the Boundless Protocol uh, prover incentives are live. So if you got some hardware laying around uh, from mining or from doing AI rentals, um, this one might be for you. Now, um, I've set this up locally. It's a little bit trickier, um, and I can show you guys how to do that, but what has recently happened that is very fantastic um, is that the Octaspace Marketplace has um, released a uh, virtualized container, if you will, to uh, enable us to just rent Octa servers and deploy these um, provers on top of Boundless. And so uh, this is pretty neat. And now that the uh, incentivized testnet is live, um, we can kind of do this and start earning. So um, I think, uh, you know, getting in early is kind of some of the best times to, you know, do well. And so I have no idea how this will go. This is not financial advice, you know, do this all at your own risk. But um, I've got a couple set up. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do this with Octus Space's um, marketplace. It's the fastest, easiest, smoothest way to get it done. So let's dive right in. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Guys, so there's a couple things that you're definitely going to need in order to do this. So make sure that you have MetaMask wallet. I'm assuming most of us do, um, but you're going to need that in order to connect to base network and move USDC around. Um, additionally, you are also going to need to have uh, MetaMask so that you know you sh if you if you're not, if you don't have any Okta already, um, you're going to need to be able to pay for the Okta Space rental server or the rental node that you're going to use to do this. Now you can pay for an Okta, which is what I'm going to do because I rent nodes on Okta Space and I get paid in it for those nodes. But you can also use USDT or USDC. You just you know click top up balance here. Um, and then you can see all the different, you know, ways that you can pay. So you're going to need an Octospace Marketplace account and a little bit of a balance there so you can rent this, you know, node and deploy the image. Um, and then you're also going to need MetaMask so that you can um, stake in order to run the prover. Now, the last thing that's a little out of the ordinary that you're going to need um, is a Alchemy account. I guess you don't have, this is all pretty new to me. I guess you don't have to go this route, but you're going to need an RPC endpoint on, on base uh, to connect to in order to set up this prover. So you, um, I, the way I did it, which is all outlined in the docs. So hopefully this is like an easier method following this video. Um, but everything I'm going to show you is in the docs. And so I will link to all the resources that you need in order to do this, but just be ready that you're going to need either an alchemy account or, you know, some way to use RPC endpoints. Uh, you're going to need MetaMask and you're going to need a topped up balance in Octospace. Um, I will have to do a different guide if you guys are interested in how to do this locally. So just make sure you have all those things and then let's, let's get going. All right. So first thing you're going to do is come over to the marketplace and Octa space, and you're going to need to deploy this image. So you make sure you're topped up and you have a balance. Um, and then you can come over into all the apps and just, you know, uh, you want this Ubuntu 22.04 LTS VM, the virtual realized one. And, um, the next thing is you have to make sure you have this supports GPU pass through checked off. This is outlined in the docs. So just make sure that you're out, you're, you're grabbing one that has that. And then um, on the configuration page, you're going to allocate at least 100 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see what servers, we'll see what we got here. Wow, it looks like there's a little bit more. So here's a 4090 looking pretty decently expensive. So let's grab it anyway so we're going to go ahead and we have our correct container here we're going to check off this 4090 um, i haven't really experimented with lots of hardware tweaking um, but then we're going to go ahead and click configure from there uh so we know we have the gpu um, pass through enabled um and we want i'm going to do 150 gigabytes of um disk size and then you're going to click on deploy now it's going to create the session here it is um, and then, you know, you want to give it a little bit. It says that, you know, you please need to wait for the system to configure the virtual machine. Do the complexity of setup. Give it like five or 10 minutes. So just give this some time. Um, and then we're going to come back and we're going to access this uh, server that we're deploying or node um, via web SSH. So let's give it the five, 10 minutes to deploy, and then we'll come back and access uh, via web SSH. All right, so while that's taking its 10 minutes to uh, spin up, this is a good time to come on over and 
get your uh, Alchemy account. So <clears throat> you're just gonna wanna go ahead and make a new Alchemy account, don't have one already. Um, and the other thing you're gonna wanna do is just, I'm not exactly sure the minimum staking amounts, I gotta figure that out, um, but I just put 10 bucks of USDC over on base into my MetaMask wallet. Um, and then the other thing I did is I just made an entirely brand new MetaMask because a lot of this stuff is pretty new to me. So, you know, you do you, but I made a brand new MetaMask with just this stuff going on on it and then the Alchemy account. So then once you get the um, Alchemy account, um, you're just going to come on over into the dashboard and you're going to create a new app. Um, call it whatever you want. Um, and then, um, you know, you're going to want to use this to get your uh, base. So I'm going to run this on mainnet. Uh, this is what you're going to use to get your um, RPC endpoint. So just make sure that that's checked off. Um, do base. I'm going to use mainnet, click next. And then this you will be able to use to um, get your RPC endpoint. So I'm not going to use this one. Don't show other people that I believe that is private. So um, we're going to go ahead and go back. And um, from there, make sure you have your USDC um, balance in your wallet all right so i think it's been enough time and um i'm i've asked in the discord i haven't fully confirmed it trying it myself but i don't think there is a minimum stake deposit amount but it's been enough time almost it looks like i can now access this uh server and um let's go ahead and move on with the setup here so let's do access web ssh um, and it looks like we are going to be good to go. Nice. So now we're going to do a wget on this installation script and then run it. So um, I want to actually just uh, let's go into like the user directory Ubuntu and we'll do everything there. Also, it looks a little choppy. So I think we're going <clears> to <throat> we're going to zoom in a little bit so we can see. Okay, so now we're going to do um, wget and we're going to get the installation script. So there it is. Um, from there, we're going to do bash and then the boundless install script. And um, we are going to run this. Yes, uh, this is going to take a little bit. Um, I think they talk about how this takes a little while in the docs and that has been my experience. So we're going to let this run for a little while. And uh, now it's been going for a little bit. Um, I just want to show you what it looks like um, as the uh, script is running. Um, so you know that yours is going well also. Um, and I'm already, I have my Alchemy RPC endpoint for base mainnet. Um, I've got a little bit of stake. I've been playing, digging around in the Discord and the Prover channel. I claim that role. Um, and it looks like uh, there is no minimum stake. So we're going to try and, um, and go that route. Um, and then, um, then we're going to get uh, on to the next steps as soon as this is done. So let's uh, I'll come right back as soon as this is all ready to go. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like when it's all done uh, running the install script. And just quick shout out to Octospace. Um, I've done this locally um, and it, this is just so smooth and easy. They did a fantastic job. Now, this is the part where you're going to need your RPC endpoint from Alchemy. Um, and you're going to need your wallet private key from MetaMask. Um, you guys do you, but I set up an entirely new MetaMask uh, wallet, you know, new seed phrase for this process. Um, and then we're going to be doing this on base mainnet. So I, I guess this is like, I'm still learning a lot of this, but I guess this is boundless as a test net, but it's incentivized um, and it's happening on base mainnet. So now that we're at this stage, we are going to click uh, number one and enter. Um, and then we're going to need to enter our RPC URL, which we're going to grab from our um, Alchemy. Now, uh, I need to not show you this because it is private, but you're going to come in to your apps, the one that you have set up uh, on mainnet, and then you're going to click that and copy and paste the RPC URL into the um, SSH terminal that we have going here. And you're also going to get your MetaMask wallet private key. If you don't know how to do that, um, I'm obviously not going to show you, but you come over here and you click account details. This is my address. Then you come to details um, and you click show private key. You'll need to type in your address and you'll need to hold that down. So I'm not going to show this part, but you're going to need your base mainnet RPC from Alchemy. Um, and you're going to need your private key from MetaMask to, um, you know, do the staking. So I'm going to do that right now and come back.
Uh, so actually, uh, since I have the screen small, um, I can actually uh, show you how to get it without showing you the entire RPC URL. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to keep this private. This is all new to me. So um, you actually just come on over into your apps. I'm going to be using this one that's on base mainnet. Um, and then you come over to networks. Um, make sure that you're on mainnet and not the Sepoya testnet here. Um, and this is going to be the URL. So you're going to copy this. And you're going to bring this over into the uh, enter up uh, i'm sorry rpc url area right here um and i'm going to copy and paste that in right now okay guys so now i have uh entered in my rpc endpoint for base mainnet as well as my metamask private key um and then this broker configuration has started um i've just been entering in the default amounts i still need to figure out what's best depending on the hardware um i entered a couple in and zoomed in because i don't want you guys to see my private key there but i've done the default amount uh again for all of these <clears throat> excuse me and you can then go in afterwards and even while the prover is running and you can edit these um and i'll, I'll show you how to do that once we get this going um, but i'm going to go ahead and continue here so for the lock-in priority gas um these are all explained um in the docs as well as right in front of us and in the uh the config file so the installation is now complete um, we can manage our prover and we can also go here um, to, you know, make sure everything's good. So let's get this going. Um, our private key is stored on this server. Um, and now I want to run the script to start management, um, which is awesome. This is a lot easier through Okta, just saying. So here we go. Now you just kind of uh, move up and down. Let me, um, let me zoom out a tiny bit. Good. Um, I think I do one more and still see it. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. So this is the prover management. So you actually come over into start broker next. Um, when you do health check, if it's not running, you won't see that. Um, you won't see anything going on yet. So I'm going to go ahead right now um, and um, make sure that I have some stake deposited. So I'm going to, I'm going to check my stake balance right now. Um, and I do in fact have 10 cents stake. So let's go ahead and, and try that. You um, have your private key attached to this whole setup. So you can do the, you know, make sure you have the money in the MetaMask, but you can deposit stake just using these, um, you know, this these commands here and these these options in this config thing, this, this prover manager, right? So now um, it is time to start the broker. And I believe this takes a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and start the broker. Um, and I'm going to come back. This is all running. Um, and then you, once, once this is all set and going, we'll, we'll check the logs, um, and make sure everything is working out. Okay. Um, and the other thing we're going to look at is the, uh, provers on mainnet. So I've only really been doing this on, on testnet. And then I did one on mainnet last night. Um, and so, um, we're going to check on all that. So let's let this run. Um, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So the broker is uh, running. The prover is running. Uh, so I actually just come, I ended up depositing, um, I just did like 10 USDC just in case. Um, and so I came over here, I want to do the health check, make sure that the node, the uh, prover is all okay. So this one's actually a 4070. Uh, I was doing a 4090 last night. I'm going to be doing a little bit more locally and some more Oct services. It's so easy. Um, and then, um, I want to now view the log so that I can see my uh, prover running, excuse me, um, and I'm going to come into broker logs, and there we go. Um, now, I was watching these last night, uh, and, you know, you can end up, you'll end up seeing uh, jobs and whatnot, and so uh, I'm not just going to, like, stand here and stare at you with this forever, but uh, there you have it. So, my uh, prover is running and deployed with Octospace, um, and so hardware your results may vary there's tweaking that needs to go on um also you can while this is running you can come in here uh where is it and you can um edit you can edit uh the um broker config sorry and you can change all this stuff that um i was telling you about so i don't really know exactly what's best for uh, the different hardware yet. I need to figure all that out. Um, but you know, just come hang out in the Discord and um, if you have questions. And so uh, we'll see if this ends up being worthwhile. Um, but these are all the different parameters that you can set. Um, and um, you know, I guess your mileage will vary. So I need to figure all this out. But for now, the broker is uh, running. Oops, uh, control X out of there. Um, and things seem to be going well. So I'm going to watch this and uh, play with stuff a little more. Um, hope you guys were able to get your stuff all set up and running as well. All right.
Okay, so uh, two last things I want to show you guys real quick. Um, it does take an order to be requested and proved for you to be able to show up here. Wow, some people are crushing it. 30 ETH? What the hell? Um, oh, no, that just must be their stake balance. Okay, so you would come over here into provers once you've gotten a request and proven it. Um, and then, you know, you'll see here, I, I just started this one running, so, you know, I'm not there yet. Um, you can, you know, just double check and make sure on this boundless uh, mainnet explorer, you can click here to check out the testnet one, but I'm doing this on base on mainnet so we can actually make money. Um, you can see here. So, you know, and everything's running. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, so let's say you're just, you know, monitoring your broker in the um, logs and you know if you close out um, and you want to get back into this you know broker manager um, we're still running I don't think I have had anything fulfilled yet. this is just 14070 you know but you know so you control C out of here and let's say you know you accidentally like control C and exit this uh, boundless prover manager in your Okta server um, you can just CD into a uh, root well not not capital you can CD into a uh, root and uh, boundless um, and then you know you actually just run bash on the uh, prover so you'll just do dot slash uh, prover sh and you can get back into um, this manager and um, so that's it um, this should be enough to get you guys up and running with octospace uh, shout out to them they did a great job with this um, this, uh, this container is virtualized container it's awesome I don't know if I'm saying that right but this is great so let's uh, get some more provers proving and um, good luck everybody have fun